Hello everyone, welcome to Java for Testers tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the operators in Java. So uh, if you see on my screen, I have opened the Java documentation from the official Oracle uh, website. This documentation is uh, written for JDK 8. Uh, however, you know, there, the, if there are any changes, you can anyways go to the latest release notes and uh, see if uh, there are any changes. But for most of the time, these tutorials are good enough to get started and, uh, you know, learn the core concepts of Java. So um, that's why I'm referring to this particular portal rather than, you know, creating the same text or content in uh, the PPT slide and then explaining you. So here, if you see, this is uh, the summary of operators or the operators supported by the Java programming language. And this is still holds true. So um, if you see the operators in Java are categorized into different categories, for example, simple, uh, simple assignment operator, um, then arithmetic operator, unary operator, then you have the equality and relational operator, conditional operators, and then type comparison and bitwise and bit shift. Now, if you go from top to bottom, the, uh, they, the uh, these operators have been categorized into, uh, you know, the, the, percentage of usage basically so if you see the topmost the assignment operator is the most widely used operator right so we have seen in the previous tutorial whenever we declare a variable and then we assign a value right so we we use this assignment operator similarly arithmetic and unary, unary operator or equality operator will be used a lot even up to the conditional operator now type comparison and bitwise and a bit shift operator uh, i won't be covering as part of this you know tutorial series i'll be covering it as a separate uh, tutorial uh, because this is you know very rarely sort of used even in selenium automation um, uh, there will be very minimal chances that you will be using any of these operators so i'll be covering you know the the top ones here so if we talk about the simple assignment operator let me open uh, eclipse and i'll simply create a new class file and i'll say um, operators in java okay and let me add a main method and click finish all right okay so assignment operator so what we simply need to do is we need to declare the data type so for example i want to define a data type as int and then the variable say for example my number and i'll use the assignment operator equal to and assign the value okay so for example i assign the value as 10 so this is what assignment operator is now depending on the data type say for example i want to assign a string i'll define as string and then use the same assignment variable to assign the string okay to this particular data type which is str okay so this is what the assignment operator is let's see what is the next next uh, category is uh, the arithmetic operators right so um, this is also very simple so for example addition you want to add two numbers you want to subtract you want to multiply divide or remainder then you can use these arithmetic operations okay so for example i declare you know two integers so i'll say number one and i'll assign the value as 10 and then similarly for another you know using assignment operator i'll assign the value as 20 to number two right and you you can note that two of the variables cannot have the same name right so that uh, you have to take care in java so it has to have the unique variable name now if i want to add the arithmetic operators which is basically you know like any of these plus minus multiplication division you simply have to say for example i'll print this uh, you know addition of these two numbers i'll simply say number one plus number two all right and this will print the sum of these two numbers because these are both of integer type and this plus is also used to concatenate string which we have already seen right in the previous tutorial so also used for string concatenation uh, if you are concatenating it with strings so for example the second variable holds the string then the 10 number 10 will get concatenated let me show you that as well again 
and here so for example i want to num concatenate number one with this string so i'll simply use the plus operator and run it so if i run this you will see in the first case it will print 30 which is the sum of these two integers and in the second case it has printed the concatenated string so the first uh, you know uh, it printed the number which is 10 and then concatenated string demo string in front of that particular number now in the arithmetic operator similarly as i have used you know uh, this uh, plus you can use the other operators as well there is nothing different if i want to multiply these two numbers i'll use the star if i want to divide i'll use the um, slash forward slash right so this is the division operator and this is the you know remainder operator so these are some of the arithmetic operators so please go through and try to practice with all these operators now comes the unary operator okay so unary plus operator what it indicates it indicates the positive value okay and if i don't specify any value out of uh, or any operator say for example i specify this plus that shows that this is a positive value okay if you don't specify any value it internally considers it as a positive value okay so numbers are positive without this however so even if you don't specify this unary you know plus uh, it's still a positive number okay uh, if you want to explicitly mention that this is a positive number then you specify that uh, however um, this is more relevant when you want to specify a negative number which is where you'll use the unary minus operator right which negates an expression so if i use negative 10 right and run this program again the result will be different right because this is negative 10 number number uh, one is negative 10 when i add that to 20 the remainder is 10 right so to negate a number you use the unary minus operator it negates an expression okay now the next important one is the increment operator which increments a value by one and decrement operator uh, minus minus which decrements a value by one now these two are important uh, you know operators that we'll be using a lot in our program so any of these you know operators that we have seen we'll be using really uh, you know very frequently in our programs uh, including equality relational so understanding these operators is really uh, you know important so what this increment operator does so for example here if i have this number right which is the integer and uh, let me make it positive again if i say number one plus plus okay what this statement will do is now this number which has the value as 10 um, that value will get incremented by one so now the number will become 11 and now in this particular statement 11 will be added to number 2 which is the 20 and the answer will be 31 here okay so let's run and execute uh, and see the results okay save it and you can see that it is 31 now and similarly decrement what it does if we say number 1 minus minus now here it has incremented now it will again decrement that so it will become 11 here then it will again become 10 and the result will again be 30 in this case let me save and run it and you will see the result is 30 so that's the um, you know that's what increment and decrement operator does now logical complement operator so what it do does it in inverts the value of a boolean okay so for example i define a boolean variable okay so i say boolean pool is equal to uh, i say true okay and then i print that let me print it so to show you what's the value of bool variable here so it will print true in this case right so you can see it has printed true now if i want to negate it i'll simply use the negation okay so what this will do is it will return false in this case it will negate whatever you have provided here okay so that's what the negation or it inverts the logical complement operator it inverts the value of the boolean so whatever uh, value is returned um, by the boolean uh, it will negate that okay so that's the uh, purpose of this operator 
now coming to equality and a relational operator so if you want to check the equality of two numbers or if they are if the numbers are not equal greater than less than these are the operators that we'll be using to check the equality and a relational operator so for example if i want to check that whether these number number one and number two are equal so i can simply say if um, number one is equal to number two right and then i'll print some statement just okay let me print the string here so numbers are equal okay uh, else print numbers are not equal all right so let's run it and see what's the result so you can see numbers are not equal right so what we have you know done here we are just trying to compare whether number one is equal to number two so 10 is not equal to you know 20 so that is why it came to else block and it executed numbers are not equal it printed numbers are not equal right so that's what equality and a relational operator so equal to if i'm you know trying to um, check whether numbers are not equal i'll simply use this operator right so um, you know exclamation mark followed by one equal okay so i'll simply if numbers are not equal then it will because this condition will be true now right so it will print numbers are equal okay so this is a bit weird but uh, i just want to show you you know because i have used so numbers are equal got printed because this has resulted into the um you know true so if if this is the condition that we are trying to verify so number one not equal to number two which is true if it is true then it comes to this if block we'll understand if else block you know in detail in upcoming tutorial so don't worry about that so this is you know just to show you how you will use equality and relational operator similarly if you want to you know verify or check about the greater than or greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to there is nothing different you simply have to change these operators accordingly uh, say for example greater than or equal to um, then uh, it will you know verify or verify the equality or the relational operator or the condition accordingly now the next operators are the conditional operators so conditional and and conditional or so what conditional and and conditional or operators do is they you know um, verify the or they are used to uh, on two boolean uh, expression so these operators say uh, for example they uh, exhibit the short uh, circuiting behavior which means that uh, the second operand is evaluated only if it is needed say for example you know if i have a value if i here i define you know something so here i have defined int number one and number two so to use these conditionals and what uh, we'll use is if number one uh, is equal to say for example in this case 10 and so here i'll use conditional and and then number two is equal to 20 right so something like this then i want to print something okay so just to show you how you can use the conditional operator so i'll print this is conditional operator okay so let me run this there is some error here okay uh, it has to be within the brackets here okay so this is the conditional and operator okay so what this will do is uh, this will return you know uh, a boolean either true or false so number one is equal to 10 which is true and number two is equal to 20 this will again return true or false right so in this case number two is 20 and uh, you know number one is 10 
so both will return true so true and true will be true and if you run this you will see this is conditional operator right and if i change it to or conditional or you just use a separate conditional or operator to change it to the or operator okay conditional or so these are uh, about you know conditional and and conditional or operators then i'll cover ternary operator which is basically a shorthand for if then else statement okay so we have uh, we'll we'll cover um, you know if then else and uh, you know then we'll also understand how you can use the ternary operator to uh, you know uh, replace the if else you know statement in java so these are all you know the basic operators that we'll be using very frequently uh, now if you want to you know um, learn a lot more detail i'll include this link you can go through it this is uh, you know documentation which has written for jdk 8 so this uh, you know is not the latest documentation but most of the content here is still um, valid and true and uh, you can also browse around or google through uh, you know other you know concepts of the operator so for example type comparison operator i'll be creating you know another uh, tutorial uh, on bitwise bit shift operator and type comparison later but uh, as part of this you know beginners tutorial for testers this is not very much you know required to uh, cover as part of this tutorial so you can if you want to learn you can go through these two as well um, just google and find out a more information on these so uh, that's all for this tutorial on operators in java hope you like the tutorial Thank you very much for watching.